Why do men have a deeper voice? According to a research, during prehistoric times, males had to fight for females. So deeper voices allowed them to appear more intimidating and dominant, thus scaring their opponent away. Hmm. Now, let's see how this deep voice is produced. The size of larynx or voice box is greater in males as compared to females. Hence, the vocal folds or cords present within the larynx lengthen as well as thicken. As a result, when males speak, the folds vibrate less per second, thus producing a deeper voice. Hmm. What is the purpose of eyebrows? Firstly, our arch-shaped eyebrows help channel our sweat as well as the rain towards the sides of our faces, thus protecting our eyes. Secondly, eyebrows help us express a wide range of emotions like surprise, anger, etc. Lastly, eyebrows also help in recognizing faces. In a study, scientists found that participants had a tougher time recognizing people's faces when their eyebrows were erased. Hmm. Do animals really dream? Humans dream during their rapid eye movement stage of sleep or REM sleep. In a research, the brain activity pattern of a rat running for some cheese and the one during its REM sleep was found to be similar. Moreover, a singing bird's brain activity while singing and while in its REM sleep also showed similarity, thus indicating that perhaps animals dream of their daily activities. Hmm. What exactly is blood rain? Firstly, around Sahara Desert, brownish dust and sand carried away by storms mixes with water droplets in the clouds, thus giving the rain its brownish red color. Secondly, in Kerala, red spores of Trentipolelia annulata algae get carried away by winds and mix with the falling water droplets, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. Lastly, in Zamora, Hematococcus pluvialis algae actually get caught in the rain clouds. As a result, they get stressed and produce a red pigment called astaxanthin, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. What is claustrophobia? I think... I think... I think it is the name of a new burger! <laughs> oh, um, some. <laughs> claustrophobia is an anxiety disorder. It is an intense fear of confined or enclosed spaces. Symptoms of claustrophobia may include shortness of breath, faster heartbeat, sweating, etc. Some researchers believe that a defect in one of our genes may be the cause of our claustrophobia. Hmm. It is also believed that if one of our parents has claustrophobia, then we are more likely to have it. Finally, it is also believed that our fear of enclosed spaces may be stemming from a traumatic childhood event like being stuck in an elevator. Hmm. What is cholesterol in the human body? No idea, but Amsum does not have any cholesterol. Oh, Amsum. <laughs> cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance. It is present in all the cells of our body. Cholesterol helps in building cells, vitamins, as well as hormones. Our liver makes all the cholesterol needed by us. But sometimes, our eating habits can force our liver to make more cholesterol than necessary. It combines with other substances and forms a thick heart deposit on the inside of our arteries. As a result, our arteries become narrow, increasing the risk of heart disease or stroke. Hmm. Why were zebras never domesticated? No problem. I'm sure we'll take care of this. Huh? Oh, I'm some. Firstly, zebras are known to have one of the strongest kicks in the animal kingdom. Secondly, zebras are known to have an extremely powerful bite. Thirdly, as compared to horses, it is extremely difficult to capture a zebra using a lasso, as zebras have a very efficient built-in ducking reflex. Hmm. Lastly, horses have a strong family structure. If the head of the family is captured, then the rest of the family follows him. The same is not the case with a zebra. Huh? Hmm. Do the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans mix? Absolutely not. I have told them not to. Oh. Um some. 
The answer is density. Density uh -huh. is the measure of mass present per unit volume. Uh. Lesser the density, lighter <laughs> will be the object. Hmm. The Atlantic Ocean contains much more salt, as a result of which it is much denser. On the other hand, the water in the Pacific Ocean is less salty, hence its density is much lower. Now, this difference in density due to salinity creates a kind of barrier called a halocline between the two oceans. As a result, both the oceans don't mix that easily. Hmm. Why huh? does soap make bubbles? No big deal. Om Sum's <laughs> bubbles are the biggest. Oh, Om um, Sum. The answer lies in the chemistry of soap molecules. The two opposite ends of the soap molecules behave extremely differently. On one hand, there is an end known as the hydrophilic end. This end attracts water. While on the other hand, there is an end known as the hydrophobic end. This end repels water. Hmm. Now when we mix soap with water, these opposite ends of the soap molecules sandwich a thin layer of water between themselves. This basically leads to the creation of a thin film that contains a small amount of air. And this is what we call a bubble. Hmm. Why are sharks boneless? No big deal. Even Omsum doesn't have bones. Oh, Omsum. The skeleton of sharks is actually made of cartilage. Cartilage is the same stuff that our ears and nose are made up of. Now, Cartilage is less dense than bones, hence it is much lighter, making sharks weigh less and thus helping them stay afloat. Hmm. Also, as the cartilage is flexible, it gives shark the ability to swim quickly and catch its prey. Hmm. Finally, the skeleton made of cartilage heals faster than that made of bones. Hence, sharks are boneless. Hmm. Are huh? smartphones bad for our eyes? Don't worry. Just watch Omsum on your smartphones. Oh, Omsum. We hold smartphones too close to our eyes and also stare at them for prolonged periods. Hence, it puts strain on our eyes. Besides this, smartphone screens predominantly emit blue light. Now, our eyes are built to absorb the harmful ultraviolet rays coming from the sun thus protecting the inner sensitive membrane called retina. Hmm. But our eyes are not good at absorbing blue light emitted by smartphones. Huh? Hence, the blue light hits the retina and produces toxic substances which slowly begin to damage the retina. Hence, long-term exposure to blue light from smartphones may affect our vision. Hmm.